and venerable and scary St. Pete's uh, uh, Tiger Bay Club, but uh, that day turned out pretty well for me and I walked out pretty confident that I could win the race. So thank you for getting me off to a good start in that race. And obviously I've been back many times since. Let me uh, spend some a little bit of time today. I want to get your questions, obviously. But uh, I was invited to, and given the opportunity to talk uh, just a little bit about the Florida Next Foundation. Uh, Mr. these uh, had headlines that might have been the, I still say the St. Petersburg Times, the Tampa Bay Times this morning. Um, XYZ Corporation to move headquarters to St. Petersburg, renting 700 jobs. Oh my gosh, the whole community would have been excited. The, all the political people would have been up in front of the cameras. This is, would have been the biggest news in the Well, let me present to you maybe an alternative headline. 700 small businesses in Pinellas County to add another employee in the next month. Yeah. I believe that the way we grow out of our funk in Florida and the way we build, truly build, a new, stable, sustainable economy is to support and champion our own. Our small businesses, our entrepreneurs, our innovators. If you want to think about the businesses in Pinellas County, think about, yes, you have been successful at attracting uh, some businesses from out of state. Um, you know, I think of SRI, for example, and there are others. But let's think about the real powerhouses, Raymond James, started here. Jabel, Tech Data, Edward Corporation, formerly. The similar companies. We could go on and on. These all are companies that represent innovators and entrepreneurial people who had a dream and they found the environment right here in Florida to make their dream into a reality.